In a town with nearly 4,500 restaurants, almost 60 of which boast Michelin stars, it's extremely difficult to narrow down the best. However, when it comes to service, atmosphere, value, and deliciousness, these establishments knock it out of the park and are undoubtedly among the top 13 restaurants in San Francisco. Number 1. Luca Della Cadison San Francisco is a city that loves a serious sandwich. The salami hangs from the ceiling, the wheels of cheese weigh down the shelves, and everyone has a favorite special, from the hash one Italian combo with salam, ham morde della, and provolone, to the Pat Pearl roast beef with pepper jack and peppers. The pro move is to grab a sandwich for lunch and a box of ravioli to take home for dinner. Number 2. Sato Mare Locals and tourists swarm to Sato Mare for an exemplary taste of San Francisco's famous seafood creation, Cipino, an Italian-American stew likely adapted by Ligurian immigrants in North Beach. It's on every table at this old-school, kitschy establishment, served in heaping silver bowls for two that brim with slightly spicy tomato broth, Dungeness crab, assorted Pacific shellfish, and some pen pasta thrown in for good measure. Other seafood staples like Louis salads round out the meal. Number 3. China Live George Chen's massive Chinese food emporium is certainly an elevated way to experience all that San Francisco's Chinatown has to offer. But if you're looking to try a wide variety of dishes, from fried scallion pancakes to soup dumplings to Peking duck to char Chinese broccoli, this is probably your best bet for a one-stop shop. Plus, the open kitchen means you can watch the culinary team at work, wrapping dumplings, and wok frying rice. On your way out, don't forget to stop through the marketplace to stock up on house-made condiments, and if you're looking to extend the night, try the upstairs bar Cold Drinks Bar, where the menu centers around smoky scotch-based cocktails. Number 4. Cadogna For fresh pasta, Cadogna throws down like an Italian nana, maintaining a reputation in a town that loves rustic Cal Italian restaurants. It's owned by Michael and Lindsay Tusk, in the same restaurant group as Michelin starred Quince, but this Jackson Square restaurant is warmer and more casual. The wood fire oven and grill face out onto the open dining room, with communal wooden tables laden with spit, roasted pork, rabbit, and quail, fresh pasta, and market vegetables. Don't miss the raviolo, the single oversized ravioli, that breaks open to reveal a buttery golden egg yolk. Number 5. Kakari Eschatorio A fire in the hearth and chickens twirling on the spit set the tone for this warm and rustic Greek tavern which is a long-standing destination right on the border of where the business lunches of the Fidei cross over into the date-night dinners of historic Jackson Square. The grilled whole fish of the day and lemon oregano lamb riblets are always a treat, as are the crispy zucchini cakes and quintet of creamy and fishy dips. Number 6. Sam Wall Restaurant Out-of-town visitors might come pay their respects at Sam Wall out of historical interest as the restaurant, newly reopened in 2015, is believed to be the oldest in San Francisco's Chinatown and thus one of the very oldest Chinese restaurants in America. Far from just some historical curiosity, however, Sam Wall remains one of Chinatown's most delicious destinations, beloved by both tourists and locals for its simple, satisfying menu of Cantonese dishes like its fish jook and barbecue rice rolls. Number 7. Mr. Juice it was a big deal for San Francisco when Chef Brandon Ju took over the historic Four Seas Banquet Hall space and opened an ambitious Chinese-American restaurant in the heart of Chinatown. He stayed busy during the pandemic, opening Mamahu, a fast casual spin-off on Clement, as well as putting out a cookbook, Mr. Ju's in Chinatown. But Mr. Ju's is back open for dine-in, serving the roast duck platter with peanut butter hoisin, sea urchin chin fun, and squid ink wandans, along with cocktails, beer, and cider. Number 8. House of Prime Rib This 70-year old Knob Hill classic is a trip back to a time when plating with tweezers was not yet a thing. The name says it all, House of Prime Rib serves one thing and one thing only, and it does that roast prime rib very, very well. The only choice is to make her meat temperature, cut thickness, mashed or loaded baked potatoes, and martini or Manhattan. Each plate comes with a salad. Prepared tableside, cream spinach, Yorkshire pudding, and potatoes, and of course a hulking piece of beef cut from one of the wheeled meat carts. Number 9. The Kikos Restaurant In a city with many luxurious amakase counters, the Kikos has always been a revelatory sushi experience. Tucked away in Union Square, just around the corner from the Dragon Gate to Chinatown, chef owner Ray Lee and his family have been serving exquisite bites to intimate seats for more than 30 years. The Toro, Uni, Caviar, and Wagyu are worth the splurge. 
Number 10. Octavia Octavia is back, and that means Melissa Perello and team once again swinging for the fences with flawless seasonal menu starring fresh pasta and some of the city's most unforgettable desserts. There are familiar refrains in the mix, with plates like fresh mozzarella with Jimmy Nardellos and Brentwood corn lasagna with sweet corn and bright chilies emphasizing the breadth of Northern California's bounty. And of course, the window-fronted space remains as lively and elegant as ever, accented with structural arrangements from cult favorite florist to peddler. Number 11. Leho Leho Yacht Club This polished bistro is one part Hawaiian, one part Californian, and one part Chinese. Walking in the door is like the first sip of a Mai Tai hitting your palate. It's potent, vibrant, and you know you're about to have some fun. When it comes to the food, you won't find similar dishes anywhere else in the city. From the duck liver toast with jalapeno and pickled pineapple to the roasted octopus with curried raisins, Castel Vetrano olives, butterball potatoes, and fresh coriander, everything on the plate is the product of Chef Rami Kapoor's imagination. Number 12. Tartine Manufactory this chic and bright former warehouse has a choose-your-own-adventure setup. It touts a bakery. This is tartine after all, a coffee counter, an ice cream window, and a small wine bar. The rule of thumb here is that there are no wrong choices, whether you're stopping in for an item from the bakery case, the pain suis is a must, uh, staying for lunch, in which case, order the coddled eggs with sea trout roe, fresh horseradish, and zatter toast, or making it a destination dinner for the fresh milled Durham Papardelle lamb neck ragu, and ricotta. Number 13. Kala Kala's interior is straight out of La Condesa, Mexico City's trendy modern district. That's because Chef Gabri, Ella Camara hails from Mexico's capital, where she runs Contramar. Chef Camara ensures every dish on the menu is a trifecta. Classic ingredients, unique preparation, and artful presentation. Case in point, a sweet potato broiled until creamy on the inside, then tossed into the fire until the skin is crisp, served with bone marrow, salsa negro, and warm tortillas. Come for a casual night chatting up new friends at the communal table, or bring your own. So these were top 13 best restaurants in San Francisco. If you like this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.